What is up investors, Jason here. So we're seeing a bunch of green over in the crypto market and this is good news. And this is coming off of inflation rates at 7%. Um, that's not the greatest news, but uh, that definitely hurt the tech stocks where we do still see hit or miss within the stock market itself, some green, some red, but looking at the crypto market, I am loving all the green that I am seeing at this moment. So in this video, I wanna give you guys an update. I wanna talk about the possibility of Bitcoin having a reversal, which we're kind of seeing at this moment. So could this be the moment where we're seeing the crypto market to go from being bearish to back to bullish? Well, that's what I want to talk about. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button. Helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm, helps spread the video, so more people might find it interesting, and subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to it. Now the crypto fear and greed index, we're still sitting in extreme fear where we've been sitting. It hasn't been uh, anything different for a while now, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't start seeing this changing. Now looking over at the uh, current crypto market, we have a lot of green, which we can see that some of these are up more than 5%, some of these up 10%. Uh, so this is great to see. At this moment, we have Bitcoin up more than 2%, Ethereum up more than 4%. Cardano up more than 10%. So a lot of great things that I'm seeing here, as well as well as with Solana, Polkadot, Avalanche, etc. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys the stock market because it's been hit or miss with the stock market. We have a lot of tech stocks that are down and uh, some other stocks that aren't doing too bad. So looking over at the stock market, we can see we have a mixture of green and red and a lot of the stocks that I do follow. And uh, mostly a lot of the tech stocks are the ones that are hit. And a lot of the EV stocks are taking a pretty big hit as well, other than, of course, Tesla. Now, let's talk about inflation here. Uh, so Bitcoin climbs after inflation jump rekindles hedging debate. Cryptocurrencies have tumbled as investors weigh Fed moves. Token briefly tops $44,000 for the first time in weeks, which we're currently actually uh, still sitting or sitting around 44000 at this time. Now let's talk about the inflation news that has come out because this is very important because this is what is helping drive the crypto market. Now, there's no guarantees that that what the market expectations of what's going on with inflation and uh, interest rates and all that stuff is going to happen to what people are expecting or is this some kind of fluff that we're kind of be get, are kind of getting from Jerome Powell and maybe things aren't going to be as severe as uh, as he's talking about. That's all up to debate, but for right now, let's just talk about the the um, the news that has come out about inflation, and then let's talk about the possibilities after that about a reversal in the crypto market and the possibilities of Bitcoin going up based on this news. So the U.S. Treasury had its steepest jump in consumer price inflation in four decades and absorbed a 10-year note sell. With this uh, already reinforcing the widespread anticipation that the Federal Reserve will start raising interest rates in March, which you guys know that, that this is going to happen more than likely, and we're going to have multiple um, ra raises in interest rates. Now, the December inflationary figures were in line with the bond market's expectations. And while benchmark treasury yields initially rose moderately across the curve soon after the release, buyers soon emerged is what this article is saying. Now, the year-on-year -year jump in consumer price index matched a forecast increase of 7%, while the core rate, which excludes food and energy prices, was a little hotter, expanding a pace of 5.5% versus an expected 5.4%. Now, the market absorbed the sale of a $36 billion 10-year notes on Wednesday with primary dealers left with a 16.6% share, a touch above recent average. According to BMO Capital Markets, the reopening arrived the highest yield since January 2020 and after a sharp rise in benchmark yields from 1.51% at the end of last year. Now, the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, said that central banks will use its tools to prevent higher inflation from becoming entrenched at his confirmation hearing before the Senate Banking Committee on Tuesday. If we see inflation persisting at high levels longer than expected and we have to raise interest rates more over time, we will, Powell told lawmakers. Other Fed officials have recently lent weight on the idea of raising rates in March while advocating shrinking the central bank's 
$8.8 trillion balance sheet later this year. So in my opinion right now, I'm going to say that Bitcoin possibly is getting ready to go back into a bull market. I, uh, I strongly actually believe this, and this is just my personal opinion, not financial advice. If I'm saying this, don't necessarily believe what I'm saying, but this is just my opinion that I'm sharing here. And the reasons why I say this is because if you guys, if you guys are longtime followers of my channel and you were uh, listening to what I was saying back in early October when I was saying that we're we're more than likely already in a bull market for Bitcoin and the crypto market. What were we seeing a lot right there? We were seeing the price of Bitcoin starting to go up a lot. And where are we seeing that price of Bitcoin going up from? It was going up at a price of around $40,000. And if we look at the trend, if we look at how Bitcoin has been been performing, uh, if we look at how we were seeing uh, all this consolidation with Bitcoin, lately and how the price was consolidating and usually when we see these consolidations you can usually expect that that at uh, some point we're going to get to a flag and then we're going to see that price break out now sometimes we see this consolidation last even longer but keep in mind when we do see this we know that it's either going to go one or two ways when it consolidates and trades sideways it's either going to go up or it's going to go down and that's what that's what i'm thinking i'm looking at the performance here and uh and you can always get an idea of what it's going to be doing so uh like before back in uh, late september on into october we saw the price of bitcoin spike up from there held, held at that forty thousand dollars that was the uh the bottom there which is also a price that we had just recently seen as well we had seen bitcoin go to forty thousand dollars over these last couple of days. And then we pretty much bottomed out right there, in my opinion. And I think that we're now seeing that bull market start to kick in and the price of Bitcoin going up. Because if it wasn't able to hold this $40,000 price, if it wasn't able to have all that support there, then we more than likely we were going to see Bitcoin fall through as we were seeing it consolidating. But that's not the case. We're seeing the price move from there and uh and that's changing things around here so hopefully we're going to see the price uh trend continue trending up maybe do some more sideways trading and then move again from there we'll have to see how it does play out but just going off of the, the historically here when we do see those patterns now there could be multiple reasons why bitcoin can be in going into a bull market and inflation fears is just one thing that would be needed to get an influx of investing into Bitcoin to really start helping move that needle a bit and to start changing that that fear and greed index a bit and get people more more greedy with their Bitcoin. That would be very beneficial, uh, especially as we do see such high inflation and interest rates going up. That could be very, very beneficial to Bitcoin. Now, um, I also think that just Bitcoin is is just due to uh to have a reversal i think that that's just something that that uh we've been anticipating just because we've seen the price dropping so low and then now that we have reached that forty thousand dollar price around there where we were at at the end of september where we had seen the price of bitcoin start you know kind of skyrocketing from there on into a price a little bit below seventy thousand dollars at that time I think that we're just due to be to start seeing something like that again, as long as nothing too extreme happens. But a lot of things that could happen right now aren't really there to uh, get in its way, like like all that drama that was there with China, and uh, and currently I think that there is a lot that could really benefit Bitcoin to go above that seventy thousand dollar price. I still am a person that thinks that we will be seeing Bitcoin at some point in 2022 going to one hundred thousand dollars because i think it was very possible that it could happen in 2021 myself and many other people have said that but uh but things in the market did not work out that way but a lot of a lot of bitcoin itself does mirror a bit of what the actual stock market is doing so do keep that in mind because um the the trends that the market does move sometimes they go hand in hand and sometimes they do not so it's definitely something that is worth watching but anyways, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on, on the whole crypto market. Do you guys think that we could possibly be seeing a bull market now? I'd like to know. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New videos coming on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.